fading away, losing the vibrancy of colour that blended with me, that stood as all that is me. Indigo light cannot be extinguished unless you will it so, so speaks the higher mind. Indigo light will forever burn bright. Even the slightest flame holds life force, determination, will and strength. The indigo warrior is always the flame bearer, even in times of fade. And if fade is physical, one brings forth the non-physical within that body. The flame burns bright, bathed in light, at one with the winged consciousness of white. Existing within the geometry of nine, hyperspace entities that live as the High Lord Akasha. Allow them to come forward through the film of the connected worlds. The invisible bridge that will never disappear, never be taken from you. It is the rainbow bridge of Source itself. Nothing can erase it from the landscape of time, for it is time. Many walk this bridge, yet some, even masters, experience moments where that bridge seems lost to them. It is at these times that they strive ever higher, stretch forth ever greater, and move to new heights, see new sights, make new flights. The fade is an illusion, an experience within the physical, and that is illusion. Hold on to what you know to be true, bearer of the indigo flame. Conduit for the light, human entity on earth. Am I disconnected? Am I lost? Am I preparing to leave the physical realm? To reincarnate yet again? Or to move beyond the cycle of death and rebirth? I wish to stay here. I don't want to leave. Not yet. Not ready yet. What can this disconnect teach me? I cannot get out of body. Trapped within the physical form with no astral gateway. No bridge to the other worlds within the physical realm. Yet, I see you. I hear you. Thank and praise Source in utter gratitude. I see you. I hear you. You are my rainbow bridge. Would that I could touch you. If only I knew that I could. One day again know the merge with you. To feel it within my body. To know the kundalini fire. To sense the clairsentience that triggers the hypothalamus gateway. Tell me, dear Nine, will this ever be so again? Everything you need is always close by, like the sting of the nettle and the healing of the dock leaf. The antidote is always close by. Allow it to find you. Allow yourself to see it. It is there, close by, we promise. There is an antidote for all things. It may not always be tangible, but it is there and you will find it. When you do, you will aid others in finding their own antidotes. Hold strong to the visualization of the violet flame. Light the violet candle within your crystal palace in hyperspace. Lavender scent fills the room. This is your sanctuary. The light of the violet flame within is your true home. The light of Source, your sanctuary, bringing safety, healing, wisdom and love. Bring your antidote to this room and lie it upon the violet pillow, close to the candle burning the violet flame. And watch 
as your vibrancy increases. Your life force expands and your physical self shows the response. The power of imagery holds the key to all things. We repeat, the power of imagery holds the key to all things. When you know this, the colours fade only to a pastel hue. Peace, serenity, calm waters, understanding and compassion. They all exist within the pastel hue. Increase the violet flame and the vibrancy of colour expands. An inner oil painting of blue, red, gold, green, magenta, violet, yellow, orange, purple, pink, lime and silver. Piece these together and there you have your rainbow bridge. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. Close your eyes. Imagine, if you will, a doorway before you. This door is a really beautiful shade of violet. You place your left hand into your pocket and pull out a small silver key. The key is tied with a little violet ribbon, the exact same shade as the door before you. You place the silver key in the lock. It fits. You turn the key and unlock the door. The door opens and you walk through. You find yourself standing before a cobbled pathway. The pathway leads to a moat which surrounds a large castle-like building. You have a strong feeling that you are supposed to follow this pathway and walk towards the castle. You begin the walk. The sun is shining. There are flowers growing along either side of the cobbled pathway. Yellow, violet and magenta flowers. They are so pretty. You realize how much you are enjoying this walk. You feel serene and at peace. After a while, you arrive at the edge of the moat and you notice big rainbow-colored fish in the water. You walk around the moat to the other side of the castle and spot a little bridge that leads to an entrance into the castle. You cross that bridge and walk into the castle grounds. A lady dressed in white starts walking towards you with a smile upon her face. Welcome, she says. You are here to light the violet flame. Yes, you reply, knowing intuitively that this is exactly why you are here. Follow me, says the lady in white. She leads you up three flights of stone stairs and into a beautiful room. The room has large windows, a stone floor, and there are several little tables with vases of flowers and amethyst crystals upon them. The room has a lovely energy and it feels familiar to you somehow. In the middle of the room is a circular wooden table with a large lavender candle upon it. The lady in white turns to you. Thank you and blessings, she says, and she leaves the room. You realize that you are supposed to light the violet candle, 
but you see no matches or other means to light it. Use your thoughts, whispers an inner voice in your mind. A voice that feels a little like your own thoughts, and yet there is something different about it, as if it is someone else. You concentrate on the candle. You consciously will that candle to light and you see the violet flame burning brightly in your mind's eye. Slowly before you, you see a flicker of light above the lavender candle. The flicker of light gets stronger and stronger until the violet flame burns brightly. You realize that you created the violet flame with your own thoughts, your own imagination, your visualization, your will. As the violet flame flickers upon the lavender candle, you notice that your emotions, your very vibration is in tune and at one with the candle. The violet flame that you see before you represents your own strength of will. Your creativity, your independence, your strength, your resolve, your spirituality, your true essence, your determination, your power, your longevity, your energy, and your source representation. You are aware that as long as this violet flame burns brightly upon this candle, within this beautiful room in this castle, your castle, your inner crystal palace within hyperspace, that your independence, strength, resolve, spirituality, true essence, determination, will, power, longevity, energy, and source representation will never fade, will never be extinguished. You realize that as long as this violet flame burns brightly, you will never give up. You will hold the flicker flame of source within you through all things and within all things. Your connection to the law of magnetic attraction holds bounds and bonds that span dimensions throughout the time-space field. Your will to accomplish, your warrior strength to stand for peace and justice, and your polarization to the service to others' light vibration stands strong in all timelines and all realities. Through challenge, illness, despair, suffering, fear, perceived failure and loss, you know you stand strong. You know that you embrace the learning the negative polarized emotions bring you and that you can and will transmute and transform through learning, understanding and pure surrender into the positive polarized emotions of joy, love and bliss. You know this. You know this as you watch the violet flame. You hold the inner knowing of the violet flame. You stand by what that flame represents and you choose to embrace this flame at your pace, in your own time, with your will. This stands as a beacon for the reality you create for yourself. And you know you hold the strength and the protection of the violet flame within at all times. As only you, representation of source frequency on earth, shall will it to be so.
you turn to leave the room, leaving the violet flame burning safely upon the candle, burning with the infinite energy of the violet light. The lady in white waits for you in the corridor of the castle. She smiles at you. You smile back and retrace your steps across the castle grounds and back to the little bridge. You walk across the bridge that stretches across the moat containing the rainbow-coloured fish. You follow the cobbled pathway until you return to the violet-coloured doorway. As you place the silver key into the lock, you feel the dualistic feelings of your light body that stands before the violet door and the physical body that exists within the physical world. As you turn the silver key and open the violet door, you begin to feel your head, your shoulders and your neck. You feel your torso, arms and hands. You feel peaceful, refreshed and blissful. You hold the inner knowing of the violet flame within as you return to the physical world. You know that you can return to the castle and the violet room at any time you choose. You feel your legs and feet. You wriggle your toes. And when you are ready, only when you are ready, you open your eyes. Now available at magentapixie.com, my guided meditation collections, Euphoric Voyage and Gateways Within. Instant download.